Today, we're reviewing the Steam Pod, which is a throwback to when people used to flat iron their hair with a clothing iron on an ironing board. If you're young, yes, that was actually a thing, and now L'Oreal is trying to bring it back. So as always with my reviews, I didn't take any gifts or incentives or anything like that. I bought it with my own money, which is why my reviews are a little bit harsher than most people's. So we do reviews a little bit differently around here. Usually you'll get a model in full face makeup and perfect hair, and guess what? You can't tell that much because she has perfect hair. So it always comes out great. So instead, we like to do side-by-side -side tests. We part down the middle, we use one on one side and one on the other so you can see the exact difference on the exact same head of hair. Today, we're gonna do Steam Pod on the left, Fabulous Nano Titanium on the right. We're gonna give each of these only three passes and see how the hair turns out. The first thing we notice is the Steam Pod is keeping up just fine. The model didn't have the curliest hair, but so far it looks almost exactly the same on both sides. I just wanna take one second to address the steam here. Why would they put steam in a flat iron? It's a good question. The main claim is that flat ironing your hair depletes moisture, which you can if you do it wrong, but they're saying that blowing steam in it will actually replace the moisture. But let me ask you a question real quick. If you went to your stylist and told her that you had dry hair, do you think any stylist on the planet would say, oh, go take a hot shower. That way the steam will replenish the moisture in your hair. We all know that dryness is on the inside of the hair, not the outside of the hair. No amount of water or steam on top of your hair is gonna do anything to rehydrate your hair. But these companies know that we want healthy hair so bad that if they pay a bunch of influencers to back it up, we'll believe almost anything. But to finish the review, this does work as a flat iron. There are a couple downsides, but the plates are regular plates. This will straighten your hair very well. But like I said, there are a couple downsides. The first one being that if you struggle to get volume and you spend time styling for volume, and then you come up with this, all that volume is gonna be gone. The second is that it's kind of bulky. If you have curly hairs in here around your ears and you need to get in tight places, the comb and the steam pads make it really difficult to get in there so you can't really get the small hair straightened. The third thing is if you have curly roots, it's really hard to get close to your scalp with this. It's so bulky, it won't get all the way in there, which is why I prefer the smaller profile iron. It can get all the way up in there and get all the way to the scalp. Another downside is you can get better results with a much cheaper iron, like $100 less. So for you guys out there who love playing around with crazy tools, I see you. Go ahead, get this, you'll have a blast. But if you're on any type of budget, if you're trying to shop smart or make your budget go longer towards products and tools, stay away from this. There's really no benefit to do it. So that's the bell, class dismissed. Have a good one, guys.